Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is Explanation of Collisions in Physics. In physics, there are typically two types of collisions that one encounters. You can either have elastic collisions or inelastic collisions. And in both of these cases, the total momentum is conserved. However, only in elastic collisions is the total kinetic energy conserved. In inelastic collisions, we consider, for example, some object that isn't moving and some other object that's moving. And when it collides with this object, both are stuck together. And here, part of the kinetic energy that this initial object had is transferred into this object in the form of heat, for example. This is different than elastic collisions, where you can have two objects that are moving, and they'll bounce right off of each other. So, to use equations, what does conservation of momentum mean? It means that the sum of the momenta of all the objects initially is equal to the sum of all the final momenta in the physical scenario being considered. So if we consider this simple case of two cars, you have car one and car two. In the case of, in the case of an elastic collision, you'll have the mass of car one times the velocity of car one initially, plus the mass of car 2 times the initial velocity of car 2, that's going to be equal to mass of car 1 times its final velocity, plus the mass of car 2 times its final velocity as well. So if one of these cars is initially not moving, say car 2 is initially not moving, then this is going to be equal to zero because the velocity of car two is initially zero. Therefore, the final velocity of car two, if the momentum is conserved, is going to be equal to mass of car one times its initial velocity minus its final velocity divided by mass 2 to use simple algebra. In the case of the inelastic collision, a similar thing will happen, except in this case the kinetic energy will not be conserved. For elastic collisions, we'll have kinetic energy 1 plus kinetic energy 2 will be equal to some constant c. So this constant will remain so before and after the collision. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is Explanation of Collisions in Physics.